Hello. How are you? Welcome to our Drops of Inspiration. Today, we are going not only talk about meditation, but also reflect on something very important. You, and what have you been doing to your life? Before talking about meditation, I would like to ask you a question. Imagine that a doctor told you this. Sorry to say that, this way, but you have only six months to live. What would you do if you had only six months to live, to take care of your dreams, and to leave a message to this world when you're no longer here? I know that it is a weird question. Nobody likes to think about the idea of loss or that we may not be here from one moment to another. And in this example, I'm giving you six months. Death isn't usually that generous. It just comes, and we must get by with unfinished businesses left behind. Life is talking about choices. We don't know when the end of our existential cycle will come. Do you agree that instead of being concerned about the fact of when I'm going to die, it's much wiser to value and live life to the fullest? Then, regardless of when the end of this cycle comes, we are whole, connected, and happy. Imagine yourself as a fulfilled person in all aspects of your life. You get up every day with great energy to carry on your projects because you live a life you believe in, work in a job you believe in, have a family that you love, and have habits that you have the greatest existential pleasure of practicing. Why? Because you've learned how to live a life that makes sense. On the contrary to what it seems, a life of this level is closer to us than we can imagine. I realize, in all these years that most people believe in many myths about what's possible or not, to do, to have an aligned life. One of these myths is that we must be perfect. And a perfect life exists only when we don't have problems or hardships. Of course, since this doesn't exist, people think they'll never be able to be in peace. That's far from the truth. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be always right. We don't have to be happy in every second of our lives or in love in every relationship. This is not our duty. However, we can align ourselves as long as we live each experience in the best way possible. Regardless of the relationship you are in, whatever happens, you can be whole. Regardless of the professional experience you are currently experiencing, working in a company, or if you opened a new business, you can be whole, totally connected. To make it possible, we need to learn how to align our deepest thoughts with our most sincere feelings and a worthwhile life purpose with balanced emotions. And that's where meditation comes in. Meditation is an ancient exercise. It has existed since the world has been created. It has been reported that human beings have been meditating on earth since the earliest days of history, connecting mind and body, connecting life spirit with their purpose to live. Meditation, as incredible as it may seem, is easier than we imagine. Of course, there are many techniques, but my goal here is to give you simple tips, a step-by-step -step guide, just to get you started in your inner journey in a very serene way. The idea is that everything we need is within our reach, and then we can start living the life of our dreams now, and not in five, six years, or ten years, or the worst case scenario when learning that you have only six months to live to finally start living a life that makes sense. Let's go. Shall we start meditating? First, find a suitable place where you feel good and at peace, especially if you've never meditated. Once we learn how to meditate, we see that it's very simple. Nowadays, I meditate anywhere. However, for those who are starting, it's always important to be in a quiet place. So pick a place. It can be at your home. It can even be inside your car. A quiet place preferably, where nobody is going to disturb you during the process. Second, choose a simple position with your legs. The most common one is called the half lotus position. This one is the yogi's and meditator's famous position, which is the lotus position. Why? Because it makes the spine straight. The great deal about meditation isn't the legs, it's the spine. The spine must be straight so that you can have your mind, constantly, alert. By having an alert mind, you can connect with your essence and pay attention to it. Therefore, choose the best position for your legs with the spine straight. Third, in a basic meditation exercise, you choose the hands position. I suggest a position called Madra, which is the hands position with the two fingers below the navel, and you're going to deeply inhale and deeply exhale. Fourth, 
you'll breathe deeply through the nose and also let go deeply through the nose. Keep noticing the air coming in and the air going out, the air coming in and the air going out. People ask, what do I do? Do I put music on? It is up to you. For example, if you are in a completely quiet environment, you can pay attention to the very gentle noise of your breathing as the air comes in and goes out through your nostrils. Therefore, if you think it's more convenient, there's no problem with meditating with soft music, preferably of sounds of nature, at a very low volume, so that it can help you relax more. Do the test. Find the best way for you. Fifth, what's important is that, during meditation, while you have your eyes closed, you pay attention to the air coming in through your nose and going out. Why is that? Our mind is very hectic. Thus, as long as you observe your breath, you prevent your thoughts from wandering and from flying around the better. For sure, they'll fly. That's the great flair of meditation. No matter the number of times that your thoughts wander everywhere, bring them back to your breath. Bring your attention back to your breath, gently, smoothly, and wisely. I'm meditating and I'm thinking about a bill to pay. Bring your attention back to your breath. I closed my eyes and started thinking about problems that I must solve in a while. Bring your mind back to your breath. And so on. If you need to bring your mind back to the breath 50 times during the process, bring it 50 times without losing your serenity, keeping your peace of mind, and your inner balance. I assure you that, in the first moments, usually, for those who don't have the habit, the mind gets more agitated indeed. However, as time goes by, if you can keep your posture for 5, 10, or 15 minutes in silence and serenely, automatically, your mind will slow down. It doesn't, suddenly, stop. It slows down slowly, until it stops. The human mind is the same. Imagine us all full of problems, worries, and anxieties. The moment we calm down, thoughts slow down, and we start entering into the emotional environment of well-being, inner serenity, and peace of mind. The best is to stay, at least, 20 to 30 minutes doing this exercise. You can set 30 minutes on your alarm clock near you. Do not think about time. The alarm will alert you that the time is over and you'll, gradually, return. Meditate as many times as possible, preferably at least once a day. You'll see immediate results. The best, as the Orientals, who are masters of this art, is to meditate in the morning for half an hour when we wake up, and at night, before bed, for half an hour as well. Most people have a hard time creating the habit, don't have discipline, and have a very busy routine as well. It has a different rhythm. If you can meditate three times a week, it's already very good for those who are just starting. I know that if you start meditating, you'll never stop. The physical and emotional benefits are immeasurable. Guaranteed. Meditating will benefit you in all areas. Meditation is a universal technique. It's part of the universal language, and it's available here with no need to take medicines and without needing any religious support to connect ourselves. It's about you living your essence from the inside out. It's about you knowing yourself without fear, without a doubt. Don't be afraid to dive into you. Don't be afraid of discovering the real purpose of your life. I know it sounds kind of fanciful at first. How am I going to discover my life's purpose? By just closing my eyes and paying attention to my breathing. Believe me, you will. It's much more than it seems at first sight. Believe it. Think about what nature teaches us. Take a seed, we would hardly believe that this small seed would generate a huge tree. Therefore, one day, a huge tree was a small seed. Now, imagine that the meditation is like a seed, and it potentially will bring inside balance, serenity, well-being, happiness, abundant life, an extraordinary spiritual balance, joy, and generosity. After all, it's about five to six thousand years of known Earth history. And since then, human beings have been meditating. Even today, we talk about and practice meditation, and we deny its relevance. Science, nowadays, supports it with research showing the effectiveness of meditation. Then, meditate. Take advantage of the possibility that life brings to you, and do your inner dive. Okay? 
Don't wait for someone to tell you that you have only six months to live to realize the great number of things that you could have done, and that, unfortunately, you didn't. I hope you choose a different path. Go and meditate. Practice.